Good girl syndrome, nice girl syndrome. Let's talk about good girl behavior. My name is Lena Semenek and welcome to my channel Psychology of Happiness, where happiness is the purpose of life. So who is a good girl? A good girl is loving, caring, supportive, amazing person. Uh, she is going to help everyone um, on the street, in the store. She is going to be the greatest daughter, uh, the best friend, the best co-worker. If you need help at work, she will help you to do your project. If uh, a boss will ask her to stay late, she will and she will finish everything that uh, the boss will ask her to do. Uh, she will be volunteer and helping other people for free. And if she needs help uh, and you cannot help her, if you say no to her, she will be okay with that too because uh, she cannot be mad, she cannot express her anger, she cannot express her negative feelings and she is loving, caring and understanding person. So if uh, she needs help and uh, you cannot help her for some reason, she will be okay with that. So the good girl is the person who lives for others, who is helping others. She is a great mother. She is always for her, there for her children. She is the best wife because she is always supporting and she she's always on her husband's side and she never say no. So the only person that she will never help is herself. And the sad part of uh, being a good girl is that people are gonna use you and that's really sad because at some point of your life you will understand that people are using you more and more and more and you're not gonna feel happy because it's you're gonna feel uh, disrespectful you're gonna feel sad you're gonna feel lonely and at some point you're gonna be uh, you can get into a deep deep depression so what to do? How can you get rid of this uh, good girl syndrome? That's not that easy. And the, I recommend not to do it on your own. I recommend to go to therapist, to life coach. But if you want to try it on your own, it's possible. It's hard, but it's possible. And what you have to do is just one thing. You have to become a bad girl. So you need to do opposite. You have to allow yourself to be a bad girl you have to allow yourself to express your anger you have to allow yourself to say no you have to let yourself to take care of yourself first and then of others so when someone is asking you to do something for them uh, for a second think inside yourself that you are a bad girl so i'm a bad girl i'm a selfish girl and what a selfish person will do in this situation and then do it and what's gonna happen the whole world is gonna turn against you and people will start blaming you at first they will say uh is everything okay with you um, you've been stressful lately what's wrong are you okay is something happened and then they will start blaming you. They will say, why are you talking to me this way? Uh, wow, I just ask you a small favor. Wow, don't be so mean. Wow, don't be so rude. What's wrong with you? You never let, you never talk to me this way. Uh, so people will start blaming you, putting a lot of guilt on your shoulder because they will try to put you back in the good girl position so they can continue using you of course they will not do it on purpose i hope but uh, this is the natural natural way of reacting so and you have to be really really strong to face that reaction and it's not going to be from one person it's going to be from everyone your family your friends your co-workers your boss and that's why it's very good if you have a therapist, a life coach who can give you extra support in this situation. And you have to keep this um, going, the selfish, the bad girl behavior, at least for one month. And at some point, people will start realizing that you are a different person. 
and some people will just disappear from your life because they cannot use you anymore they will disappear and they will not be longer your friends which is totally okay you don't want people who is using you in your life right uh, and other people will start considering your opinion will start respecting your desires will start respect you as a person and at that point little by little you will start changing your life so little by little you will start saying no and little by little you will start take care of yourself and the whole process can take six seven months maybe a year but little by little it's gonna be easier the first month maybe first two months is gonna be critical it's gonna be the hardest time ever but after that new people will come into your life uh, selfish bad people will disappear from your life and people will start respecting you and you might get a better position at your work you might get a best better friends in your life you will have a better self-esteem you will feel more confident and your life will be happier every day if you would like to know more about this topic uh, leave your comments below ask your questions and if you're a good girl good luck uh, you have to change this uh, not for anyone else but for yourself and if you would like to know how to be confident how to be noticed i will leave two other videos below this one in the description check them out and please share this video with your friends post it on your way twitter facebook subscribe to my channel click the bell icon to receive notification of new videos and thank you for watching psychology of happiness where happiness is the purpose of life